Yeah, it's uh, it's hard to reflect right now because I think it's still uh, the wounds are still there that you haven't you know finished the playoffs the way you wanted. And, um, you know, we especially for how well we thought we played, uh, it's still it still stings. But uh, you know, you start to reflect a little bit here, and, and I'm really proud of what we've done, what we've accomplished. And but but what's nice is that we've accomplished so much, but the job's still very far from being done. Uh, we got a long ways to go, and I think that excites me because. You know, there's work to be put in. I think guys realize that we, we fell short. We fell very short uh, of our goal, which is the Stanley Cup. So uh, everyone needs to get come in and get better again and, and realize that this was a great season. But you realize there's two seasons in a season. And, and, and we did well in the one, but we got to find a way to do well in the next one. And I think that's the motivating factor for this club now where it's not just getting to the postseason. It's how long are we going to stay and how, how are we going to get to the Stanley Cup, which is an unbelievable uh, milestone, for I think, for this team where we've really just been a team that's just trying to get to the playoffs. Now our mindset is how are we going to stay, uh, how are we going to do well, how are we going to win uh, so we ultimately get to the, to the Stanley Cup. And I think that's that's what I'm most excited about is the growth and the mentality here. Looking at the series with Pittsburgh, um, what, what do you take from that and, and really even building into next season? Yeah, just – you know how important momentum is and, and you know and a team you play against a team that's done it before and you watch them and I think you, you'd be you'd be dumb not to, to study how they they went about their business because you know no matter what was going on whatever we threw at them they just seemed to stay so even keel and and found a way to to come back in games or or to take over games at points when you thought you were outplaying them they'd score a big goal and that's really what it is to win and uh, I think we did that throughout the year we had games like that where teams were coming at us and we just seemed to have those answers uh, especially in that that 16 game winning streak where you know we talk about we didn't probably play some of our best hockey but we found ways to, to win games and you look at Pittsburgh and, and yeah we said we played great but but they found ways to win games and I think that's the mentality that we need to understand and the mindset that we need to have uh, going into playoffs now is uh, you know what is it going to take to win games and what are you going to need and and I think uh, there's a lot of guys in there that feel like they can get more. Nick, can you take us through game five and, and what it was your, your suffering that kept you from playing and just how difficult yeah, it was to make that decision? Uh, that was probably the most emotional I've been since uh, since my kids were born. Um, no, you just you feel you're, you feel awful. Um, I just, I'm not to go into it, but I, I just had a really bad uh, leg. I blocked a shot and it completely blew up on me and I wasn't able to get my foot in the skate. Uh, and to be able to skate, I mean, it's one thing to get it in there, but I was pushing off on one foot, so uh, it was really, it was a really weird conversation between Boulder and I to decide if I was going to come out or not. But I think he could see it in me that I wasn't going to take myself out. But I think for the the right, uh, you know, for the good of the team, I think I had to come out, which was awful because you feel like you're you're hanging your team out to dry in the most important game of the year. But I wasn't going to help us, uh, so I knew Scotty was ready, and he was he was you know licking licking his lips to get in there and. You know, you're, you're thinking. I'm not even thinking that it's going to be over. I'm, uh, you know, so I still had a lot of process after that game because I just didn't feel like it was done. You know, I didn't get a chance to go out there, so um, that was really hard for me just to kind of wake up the next day and you got some guilt. You have a lot of things you're thinking about, but um, but I knew I just wasn't going to be able to be able to uh, be a, uh, was that uh, a teammate. Was it early in that game four? was in game three. Game three. I played game four on it. And, uh, he said, Tor said you were like literally like skating with one leg. Yeah. I mean, was, is that true? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he well, might be exaggerating. No, but. I. Uh, uh, I mean, not to, you. Don't, you do anything in the playoffs. You look at Zach Wierenski coming back and what he did. I think it's just to be at my best for the team, especially in crucial games like that. I need to be able to skate. It would be one thing if it was a different part of my body, but uh, against a team like Pittsburgh, you got to be able to skate. So uh, as the game four went on, I was just getting worse and worse. And uh, you know, you laugh about it now, but even Torts came up to me and said, uh, "If you play like you did last game, you can't play." So, <laughs> so, uh, so. You know, all those things kind of factored into it, and, and he knows. I think everyone knows in there that I wouldn't do anything to be out there with them. I think that was the hardest part: is just, you know, not being able to be out there and, and, and watching, and, and uh, you know, you feel like you let your team down, especially as the captain. Is there a break in there? Or I don't know. We haven't really gone down that road yet. I'm hoping that I'm up on it. So, yeah. uh, I don't think so. I mean, we checked on an X-ray, but the next step would be an MRI. But I, I don't foresee anything really. It's just a bad bruise. And just Nick, did you uh, in your wildest dreams? I know you guys in the locker room had a lot of confidence in yourselves. Did you see 
yourselves winning 50 games. I had you going 41 and 41. You probably don't hate me for saying that. <laughs> I do. I had you going 41 and 41 and still making the playoffs. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think you. Yeah, I don't think you can. I don't think you can mm -hmm. put a number on a season and say, "Oh, we're going for this." I think what was exciting is we just felt like we got better and better as the year went on. You know, and the start we had, and everyone was like, "Oh boy, they're down 0-2. You know, how's this going to go?" And mm -hmm. uh, and then we just took off from there. You know, I, I think uh, it's such a credit to the guys in the room. But I, but what I say is, you know, we've gone so far, but there's still so far to go, and that's what excites me. And I think it excites the group. And it's a terrible feeling because you think you, you put in such a great season and you got 82 games now again to get back to where we are. But but I think the hunger and the drive is going to be there when we do get back and, and realize, OK, you know, this is we, we've done this. Now it's now it's time to, to put in the work for this next season here and, and realize how important it is and uh, and not just be happy with getting there. I think uh, I think we've raised the expectation in this organization um, and it's it's been a fun ride. But we we know that we're a team that the Stanley Cup is our goal. I mean, and it's pretty exciting to say that realistically now. I think you, you can say it as, you know, everyone, Stanley Cup, but realistically in that room, the Stanley Cup is a possibility, and I think uh, it's exciting to know that going into the offseason. I think it's going to drive guys. Is there a team that stretches the ice east to west more than Pittsburgh? You saw the way you know, yeah. they were scoring from, like, sharp angles and how yeah. many times they would throw the puck across the crease. And, it, like and I honestly think that's part of just experience. You know, in playoffs, anything can go in. You know, you're looking at some of their goals, and it, it, it blows you away that how'd that go in? How'd that get through? And, you know, but when you're shooting the puck on the net, and, and especially when you're not expecting it as a defenseman or as a forward or as a goalie, uh, it's amazing the rebounds that come from it. And we started to do it a little bit at the end. You saw Jack Johnson score, just threw it on. He saw that everyone was going, and then he threw it at the pile, and it goes in. And so you're starting to learn things, and I think that's what's great. We, get, we gained a lot of experience uh, by playing those five games, even though it didn't feel like, uh, you know, the, obviously it wasn't the outcome we wanted. but. You could tell guys were learning how to play in these these games, especially against the Stanley Cup champs from before. So, like I said, you've been dumb not to not to look at the, some of the things they're doing and, and why and uh, and take it away and, and try to use it to make your team better. The way the regular season ended with those losses and all, you lose home ice advantage there. Do you think that played in into the playoff? For sure, I, I really do. I think that's a great learning uh, learning curve again for us. Uh, because you know you have home ice advantage, maybe it's a whole different ball game. Because now you're coming home for game five, um, you know. And I think that's something that you, you learn as a young team. We are a young team. I don't know what the stat is, but we're one of the youngest in the league, if not the youngest. And uh, you can see some of the youth come out, you know. And, and we hadn't been in that position. We hadn't been a team that's clinched with 12 games left. And um, and that's immaturity on our part because you got to find a way to get the job done. But there was no panic. I think we knew the game was going to come, and, and we played some great hockey. But, man, it would have been maybe nice to, to have that. So I think that's another motivating factor for our club. But uh, it's all optimism here. I mean, and I can truly stand here and say that last year was a whole different ball game when we were coming in here, and it was embarrassing. But I'm not embarrassed by anything this year. I mean, yeah, it sucks to be out after five games. But uh, what we've done and what, where we've come and, and where we're going, I can honestly say is, uh, as a team that's that's going to be a, a contending team if we continue down this road. And do you think the league is looking differently at the Blue Jackets? I, mean, I hope so. I think in, we've, we've made of Last people. year you got a lot of backup goalers. You know, it's been yeah. a history. You think it's, it's a different look? No, I think you, you have to respect what's gone on here because I think we've done it by, by hard work and, and, and the right people in place here. So uh, you look at our team and the way it's built. I mean, we have some really good defensemen, a great goaltender. And, and some really good forwards, and, and we're built pretty steady throughout the lineup. So uh, I think teams definitely take notice of, of what we're becoming. Even the comments that I've heard from guys after the games, and uh, you know, Pittsburgh, I think was really happy to be done playing us. You know, they were, you guys are so hard to play against. The comments that are made like that, that's as an as a player, that's probably one of the best comments you can get. So compliments you can get. So I think. The process is there. We're going to go through some more hard work. We're going to go through another Tortorella training camp. And, and he said plus additions. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Can't <laughs> wait. Um, but uh, but you know, there's lots to reflect on. But I, I just I want guys to know that that as great as this year was, it wasn't good enough. And that needs to be the motivating factor for every guy coming in next year is that we have a job to do, and, and this is the team to do it with. And, uh, and we all know we have a great group in there that, that can do it. Nick, you alluded to it. I know that the team concept is so important, but Zach is a finalist for best rookie. Yeah, that's awesome. Bob's expected to be named for a finalist for the best nut towards maybe in the Jack Adams conversation. Just talk about the three of them and to see them honored like that. Yeah, I mean, Z, that's outstanding for him. Uh, just young kid, uh, just what he did for our organization. You know, he just amazing what he did for our back end and how he came in as a, such a young guy and, and really 
put some calmness back there uh, and took some some pressure off of Jonesy and, and Murr and, uh, and then you got even a guy like Young Nudevara who's, who's really stepped up as well but so to see him and get get uh, you know uh, recognized for that is, is outstanding for our organization and for him so I hope he does well there um, you know and then Torts I mean he's a big reason why this is turned around uh, I give him a lot of credit I mean the, the way he challenged all of us individually and as a team uh, to come in and get better and, and to change the status quo here uh, it wasn't easy to do there was a lot of headbutting at first but I think where we're standing now we're all really proud we did it and, and proud to have him at the helm so uh, that's great to see and then Bob I mean we wouldn't even be in this position if it weren't for him so uh, outstanding goalie outstanding teammate and then someone that's, that rightfully deserves that that award if anybody Nick Sergey seems a little dejected a little bit maybe toned down a little bit because of his play in the playoffs those guys are on such an island that, that position yeah what can you say to a goaltender what have you said to him about his play and, and just how the postseason went for him yeah you know I didn't say much during the because Bob's the type of guy too you just not that you leave alone but but he's so professional that he prepares himself in a way like on none other so there wasn't much to say to him but I, I know I, I think the biggest thing for him is not to not to feel like he, he you know took the weight of the world on his shoulders especially in the playoffs I mean for him the way he plays and his calmness is what makes us better and I think he'd be the first one to tell you that you know he, he probably didn't have that same calmness in, in the playoffs but but in saying that I mean we wouldn't even be in that position uh, if it weren't for him so I think for him just to, to go into the postseason just knowing that he can just be himself and, and not have to be Superman I think maybe because of the way the series started he felt like he had to be and uh, and we weren't scoring many goals early on and uh, so that's something that we need to address too. I mean, we started scoring as the series went on, but uh, early on we could take some pressure off of him too and, and make him feel a little more comfortable in there. And uh, that's 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 something that we can work on. And uh, but Bob Bob's been outstanding for us all year long, and there's never an issue with uh, with him and his play and his, pre and his preparedness. I know there were. I know that there, there, I'm pretty sure there were injuries involved in the 14-15 start of the season. But do you use? Can you use that as a motivator as far as look? This franchise twice has made the playoffs and probably yep. thought the next year, oh, we're going to improve yeah. and what has happened. But I think what's nice is that you learn from the mistakes you went through a couple years ago, right? Uh, we have the same people in place. So whether that's, you know, from top to bottom, uh, players as you're preparing. I mean, I think we realized how hard it is to get back. You know, you thought, oh, okay, we're going to get back there. Well, now, you know, we have a motivator factor because it's not easy. It's not guaranteed. There's 82 games ahead of you to get there. So... Uh, that alone, the experiences that you go through and the, and the maturity that you're seeing. And, and also, this team is built a lot differently. You know, you look at the way we're built, and uh, I think we're, we're truly built to last. You know, we had a lot of older guys in that team. We're, we're a young team here that's still young next year uh, with the pieces that we have. So I'm really excited about that because this team seems to be built for, for a lot longer time, a lot longer time period to be successful. And uh, that should excite the fans. It excites us in the room, uh, and, and we're all excited to be part of it. How's your relationship with Torts evolve? You mentioned the headbutting, and I was asking Jack that you do you ever get a comfort level with Torts because he doesn't really yeah. know that. No, you so know what? I, I did really you persevere <clears throat> because he was, you know, he would kind of rip you a little bit yeah. here or there. He's got a he's got a long way to go. I love it though. You know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? Uh, I've really enjoyed uh, playing for Torts. Um, I think he's made me a better player, a uh, better captain, a better person. Uh, because he just he challenges you every time you think you've gotten somewhere, you know, and uh, that's what you need to do as a professional athlete. And sometimes, guys, it's not easy to do yourself, and you need someone there to do that. And uh, I think he's done an outstanding job of that, especially with a young group. When you get a little success, uh, you tend to you know feel good about yourself. But that's not how the league works. The league forgets about you pretty quick, and you'll, you'll notice that as as there's 29 of the teams trying to get better like us next season. So. Um, you know that's that's what I like about Torts is nothing's ever good enough. But but he's there to, to pop you know prop you up when you need it, and and uh, I think he he'd be the first one to say how proud he is of this group. But there's work to do, and we all feel that way. And I think he's he's kind of made us all buy into that feeling. And so I really enjoyed my relationship with him because I think he's he's made me cognizant of, of trying to be better every time I, I step on the ice or come into the rink, and uh, but also enjoy it as I go. I think your foot injury notwithstanding any chance you do the world so they call uh, it I got I got a little one due in the May here so yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm unfortunately not gonna go just to my wife said you're on my time now <laughs> and, uh, so I'm gonna hang around here and uh, and actually we're gonna head to Boston too we have a little procedure for mom coming up so okay. yeah.